Hey guys, I wanted to make this video quickly because I wanted to say that I deal with FOMO every single fucking day. I'm actually probably pretty dripped out at the moment. I got my fucking Louis bag, my Manuel de Avor hoodie, the Avor tr tracksuit, jumpsuit. I got my bracelet. What the hell? My bracelet on. I'm drippy, bro. Got my Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> He's just looking at me like, what the fuck is this man doing? For my hair, you can see my hair. Oh damn, it's not look good here. <laughs> yeah, put, the, put the hoodie back on. Put the hoodie back on. Okay, I look better with the hoodie because it just concentrates my face. If I could get a better haircut, it would be better. I had that bed hair in the morning. Okay, back to the serious tone of the video. This turned uncut, so expect videos like this. <laughs> fell back. I was trying to show you my Jordans and I fell back. My Jordans at the bottoms are clean, so I can wear them inside my house. But what I wanted to talk about today is FOMO. I deal with FOMO every single fucking day of my life. Today I woke up, I, um, I had a dream in which I went to the school that I applied for previously, just after I dropped out of CNI, or dropped out of my first college. Then I applied for another college, which was actually much better, and it was like a tech-based college. But I didn't like tech at the time. So I, didn't, I didn't like it, I don't want, want to go, but they actually accepted me and they, they allowed me to go there and it was a pretty upstate, central London type of college and it was very, very modern and very nice. And I just, I had like intense form of like, what if I met someone famous there, someone affluent there, what if I did this, what if I did that, what if I did I had all these thoughts rush through my brain, these useless thoughts, because it's not real, it's not that real, the time already passed, you can't really do anything about that shit. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? What am I supposed to do about that? It's already, it's already done. The fuck? There's nothing I can do about that. I blew my chance. That's it. Uh, so, yeah, I deal with FOMO every single fucking day. Fear of missing out. Intense. It, it's very easy to deal with FOMO as well, especially when you're looking at stuff on social media, which I recommend going against. The more, stuff, the, more the stuff you look at on social media, the more... I'll say this, now my head does not look good, the more susceptible you are to actually feeling FOMO, why the pointy on the hat bro, god, yo, it's so sussy bro, like the more, think about it, if you just keep looking at everyone else's lives, they could be a completely different timeline than you, like that kid, who's 17 or 18, who's rich as fuck, what if his parents are rich, what if he's do he been doing entrepreneurship since he, since he was 15 years old? Since he was 14 years old. Since he was 10 years old, he was doing entrepreneurship. And oh, you see him at 18, and you're the same age as him, 18. But he has eight years of entrepreneurship experience. And of course, so of course he's going to make that level of money that you see. Like Iman Gaji, for example. That guy's been doing like, he was started when he was 14. He's 23 now. He's been doing this for shit for almost 10 years. And a bunch of 20 year olds that I know personally, they keep looking at him they're like, oh, what am I doing in my life? What am I doing this? Da -da -da -da. Like, Go easy on yourself. Seriously. Fear of missing out. You you have fear of missing out because you think other people have better lives than you. When in reality, they probably be doing this shit longer than you. And they probably don't have better lives than you. They probably are under a lot of stress and a lot of, lot of pain. So it's very difficult. <sighs> Damn. Fucking fire. I just got... <laughs> you have to understand that everyone is human at the end of the day and everyone is tangible all these people that you see online that are incredibly rich wealthy affluent who live lives of immense opulence are people that are living tangible human beings and you can achieve what they've achieved as well especially if it's fiscal monetary gain all right. If he's like fucking ten years old and a multi-millionaire and constantly around his family and then has like a fucking girlfriend or some shit at ten years old, a supermodel girlfriend at ten years old, like some husband type shit, then obviously that is completely unattainable. Obviously, and comparing yourself to him is completely asinine. It's all all, compar com all comparison is asinine because comparison is the kill of all joy. It's like, for example, the guys that reach like a hundred kilogram bench press 
I see a lot of guys who reach 100 kg on bench press and they feel super excited. Woo! 235! Let's go! Let's fucking go! They reach as their one rep max or they rep it for like 10 or some shit. After what happens, you see the other biggest guy in the gym who fucking. who calls uh, 225. That guy has to be fucking massive, by the way. <laughs> who. was it? Overhead presses 225. Who fucking. who benches 405. They, they constantly compare. All right, and it doesn't inspire them for the most part. It actually reduces their morale, it makes them seem lesser and feel lesser. All right, how do you deal with FOMO? Fear of missing out. How do you deal with it? What the fuck is this man doing? <laughs> how do you deal with FOMO? I'll tell you how to deal with FOMO. By not giving a fuck and focusing your own shit. Tunnel vision. Focus. Focus. Focus is the answer. Dopamine detox is the answer. YouTube. I actually recently, I want to make a video on this. How I went from, what, two, three, four, five hours a day on YouTube to 10 minutes. How I went from six, 12 hours, 12 hour, eight hour, nine hour screen time on my phone to two hours. I want to put this as a legit video. I've got two hours today right now. I probably won't use my phone too much after. Just for what I need to use it for. Listen, guys. The reality is that you got to focus on what you can do. Not on what other people are doing. And it's like, it's time to try. It's time to People don't understand this. They can hear it. They hear it again and again, but they don't understand this. And I want you to understand it. And the best way you can possibly understand it is by removing all distractions and journaling. Writing down... What is the best possible move on the chessboard? What is the best possible move that you can make in your life at the moment? And focus on that. Knuckle down and focus. I keep thinking about this. Alright. Because it's very, very um, alarming. Not necessarily alarming, but very eye-opening to me. Magnus Carlsen, the, the world's best chess player. What level do you think in Call of Duty is he in? Fucking zero! I didn't even need to pause for that for a sec. What, le what level... In Fortnite, do you think Andrew Tate is in or Mike Tyson is in? Zero. They're not focused on that shit because it's not real. They focus on the real, the real world. They focus on grinding in real life, making life your video game. Oh, I need to take a. I'll talk to you. Soon. Oh, wait, you know what? I'll come back to this recording.